Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to customize the bill of material that you have in Katia assembly to include some of the properties of the parts that uh, you want and they are not typically included in um, the list of properties that you can add to your BOM in Katia assembly like the material or the mass or weight of the part. So uh, let's say here I have the simple assembly of two parts and each one of these parts has a specific material and a mass, right? So here I have applied um, aluminum to this and I can click on measure inertia and measure the uh, mass of this part, right? It's 80 grams and then something similar for the uh, other component which I made out of copper. So when I go and create a bill of material, so I go to analyze bill of material, and here if I click on define formats, I can change the list of the properties that are going to be shown or not shown on my BOM. You see the quantity is there, the part number, the type, revision, definition, right? Let's say if I don't want revision, say um, there is only one revision, then I move it to the right side. Or I don't want definition, I move it to the right side. So these are hidden. They are not going to be shown. These are going to be shown. But the problem is if you look at the list of hidden properties, there is no material, there is no mass. And those are two of the most important things for um, an instruction manual, for a manufacturer, and so on. So, well, mostly it shows the number of components and what they are, uh, but not some important properties like mass and material. Okay, so in assembly, in Katia assembly, the BOM is not showing any of those properties. Now, there is a separate BOM, advanced BOM in Katia drafting that you can see that has more properties, but not necessarily here. So the way to go about it, and it's kind of a little bit trick actually to do, is uh, here I go to this ground component, right? And if you saw the uh, material is aluminum, let me just get the mass of it because I need it. So this is the mass of this part. I copy that. And then I uh, right click on this uh, component here, the ground, and go to properties. And these are some of the properties that uh, I are shown on that display list, like revision and definition, correct? So, uh, or description. So instead of me typing about revision, I just say aluminum. And here for definition, I type the mass of it. Okay, so I um, forcefully kind of add them to the list of properties, although in the wrong place, because there is no place here for mass or material. So I do that. And then I do a similar thing for this uh, input link. So again, here, we measure the mass of the part. It is made of copper, and uh, I right-click here on the input, go to Properties again, and then again for revision, I say what? It is made of copper, and then the mass is this much. Again, I put them under revision and definition, but that's okay. So here, I added those properties. Now, when I go to Analyze Bill of Material and go to Define Formats, then revision and definition, correct? Um, that's where those two properties that I just added, I make sure they are on the left side. If they are not like this, right? Then I go and bring them to the left side. So now all of these guys are going to be shown. So I okay that and then I go save as and then I can save it as a text file or a Microsoft Excel, whichever one that I want. Let's say Microsoft Excel. And I just call it BOM1, let's say, just for sample, and I save it. And now, if I go to my text file, or if I go to my Excel file, right? Now I have these properties here. Uh, 
and you see it says the part is called ground link it calls input link there is one of each and then what let me get rid of this extra stuff that we don't need and then type of it is part now if you don't like it you can just get rid of it whether it's part or sub assembly you can say that and definition and revision now all you need to do here is to change this to what to material right and this definition to what mass and that's it save okay so you basically added those properties in the wrong location because there was no property for these in katia assembly bill of material command and copy them and now all you need is to just change the name of these two um, columns or rows or whatever it is okay so it is kind of a trick really but uh, that's the uh, one way to get around the fact that in Katia bill of material it does not have any property of mass or material so hopefully this video was useful to you I'll see you in my next video thanks